I did have some surprising results from meditating every day for 30 days, and we're about to get into them. Hi there, I'm Sierra. I love dogs. Stay to the end and I will show you a dog. And I decided to meditate every day for 31 days for the month of January. Takeaway number one, it's really easy to do and easy not to do. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, it doesn't take any special equipment or setup or ability or knowledge to be able to meditate. You just pick a spot and get comfortable and rearrange your butt a little bit and then listen to a guided app. Anyone can do it. The hardest part is actually finding a time and being consistent and prioritizing that time. If you've read the book Atomic Habits, you've heard of the concept of habit stacking. And the idea is you build a new habit on top of a habit that already exists. So for me, my habit stack was after dinner. As soon as I was done with the dinner dishes, I would come upstairs and meditate. I'll link the book in the description box. The one time the habit stacking failed me was when we went out to dinner and I had a little bit to drink and forgot to meditate before dinner. It was date night and I said to Nick in the middle of date night, um, I've got to go home and meditate. So at least I remembered and, and I did get my 10 minutes in that day, but that was the one day that was a little off. The second takeaway was that I actually did get better at meditating. The first day I was really mentally all over the place and I found it really challenging to quiet my thoughts. Really only able to stay in the moment um, very briefly, maybe maybe 30 or four seconds. Um, uh, even towards the end uh, with, you know, three minutes left, I was completely, you know, gone from being in the moment. I was off and thinking about what I was going to be doing next. Towards the end, I was doing a body scan meditation and I was in the zone of meditating, if you will. And I felt very attentive to the guide and actually felt like time expanded in a weird way. After what felt like three minutes, he said, put your hands to your heart. And that's usually an indication that the session is nearing its end. And I was like, I just got started, but that was 10 minutes, I guess. That's not to say I was always able to quiet my mind. I definitely had moments of not being able to focus, but I feel like overall during the month, progressively, I was able to focus longer and quiet my thoughts better as the month went on. Probably the most surprising part of meditating was how emotional I got. I would just find myself crying throughout the meditation. I don't know what happened, but I just started crying after about two minutes. She said, take note if you feel light or happy afterwards. I start crying in the middle of it. I don't know why. So of course, I pictured my dog Chloe, who is very easy to love, and to send them love and good thoughts. And I immediately started crying. It was like a flashback of my life with the hundreds and thousands of people that have extended kindness to me, like going through my separation, uh, when I was hospitalized for the snake bite, you know, all the times that I've been in need or scared or confused and strangers, friends, family, just extending kindness and help to me. I just got completely overwhelmed and started crying. And all of a sudden they started dropping down and I was crying and I don't know why. I actually got a little concerned about if there was something wrong with me. So I did some research on it. I'll link the articles in the description box below, but it appears through these articles that crying while meditating is perfectly healthy and perfectly normal. And I felt better about it after I did some reading. If you're enjoying this video, I would love if you would consider subscribing or give it a quick thumbs up. I'm doing monthly challenges for all of 2024 in celebration of turning 50. And I would love for you to join me and see what's next. The other surprising result was that it did impact my ability to process emotion. There were two key moments in the month, one pretty early on where I had done a meditation a couple days before, just focused on gratitude and a different mindset and was able to react to a coworker in a more reframed and calm manner. One thing did happen today and it's only day four, so this occurred after three days of practice, um, which was I had a, uh, received an email at work that I was upset about and uh, just something I, I was frustrated about and had that moment of, I should be grateful for my job. I should be grateful for the opportunity to help agents market themselves better and just a little reframing and pause and 
not the reaction I normally would have had. So I thought, wow, okay, I could directly attribute that to the session I had last night and thought, okay, so it's only been three days and already I'm experiencing a benefit. So I'll take that as a win. The other event occurred much later in the month. I was at a meeting and started thinking about something that's upsetting that's happening in my personal life and was able to focus back on the meeting and let that thought be identified and the emotions I was having be identified and then was able to, like a cloud, just kind of push it along. I've got a great story to share because sometimes I wonder if this is actually doing anything, if I'm actually seeing any benefits, if I'm gaining anything from this time that I'm spending doing this. So today I was in a meeting and another speaker had the floor and I was just listening. And in that moment, I started thinking about a notification I had gotten from my lawyer about something that's pretty stressful. And immediately I could feel my heart start racing and uh, my body heat rising and all the symptoms and experiences that go along with a panic attack. And I, I've had panic attacks before and it felt like it was coming on. Um, and I was able to feel that, experience it, and then immediately label, I'm having a thought. And that's what we've been doing in our meditation practices. And then these are the emotions that I'm feeling that are going along with it. Are these real beliefs and are these real emotions? And are these limiting emotions? And is there validity to them? And do I need to deal with them right now? And I could say, well, one, they're not real. Two, I don't need to deal with this right now. And three, there's nothing I can do about it. And I was able to very quickly with it, with a matter of you know seconds, um, redirect my thought and pay attention to the speaker again. Those two instances felt like such a win and such progress for me mentally and emotionally. Now I'm not saying that everything that came at me through the month, I was able to reframe and think about from a Zen place, but those two instances were super encouraging. The last surprising result I had came from posting on Instagram stories every day. And if you're not following me over there, I'd love for you to join me at Sierra Brown Stewart. But it came from uh, friends, family, people I haven't met yet that commented or DM me that they have a meditation practice and different guides that they enjoy or ways of meditating that they like to employ or what meditation has meant for them. So I was able to start some dialogues and interaction about meditation with people that, some of these people are friends that I know very well, but it's not a topic we had ever talked about. And it was surprising, refreshing, and lovely to start those conversations. Final thoughts. Is this something I might continue with? And did I find it beneficial? Yes and yes. So I'm a few days past the end of the month as I film this and I still have continued meditating every day. My plan is to not beat myself up if I don't get a session in, but most days of the week to continue with the practice. I also found that during the month when I knew I would be recording my thoughts and reactions afterwards, that sometimes my thoughts started drifting to what I would say. By moving to a more private practice where I'm not going to be filming something right afterwards, I found that those thoughts have left my meditation. If you've made it this far and you've thought about starting a meditation practice, this is your sign to get started today. I have really enjoyed all the conversations I've had around meditation and I would love to hear from you. If you are thinking about meditating or you've been in practice for a month, uh, six months, a year, multiple years, I would love to hear about your meditation journey and what it means to you, what it's done for you, any way that you've learned to practice better. For those of you who stay to the end, here's a dog. This is Ginger. She is our second rescue mutt. We think she's part German Shepherd and the rescue organization that we got her from had her as part boxer too, but I'm not so sure about the boxer part. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Fun fact about Ginger is she traps herself in areas that are very easy to get out of, but mentally uh, make her very anxious. So for example, she has trapped herself underneath a table. She's trapped herself in the downstairs bathroom. She's also trapped herself on top of a table. And what I mean by that is she just whines until someone helps her turn around or get down.